You are looking at me playing my PlayStation 5 on a 330 inch OLED screen. How is that possible? Well, these little sunglasses that are on my face can do that. And by do that, I mean be a screen that you can put in your pocket and take wherever you want to go. And before we get started, this video is sponsored by Xreal who sent me these glasses. Let's begin. So these are the Xreal Air 2 AR glasses. And by themselves, they cost you $399. Looking at these, they just look like normal sunglasses, which I think it makes them even more unique. Inside of the glasses, there are two OLED projectors that project a screen onto the glass. And that allows you to have a 1080p screen right in your pocket wherever you want to go that you can just put on your face and start using. Anyway, design wise, the X-Real Air 2 are really, really cool. Looking from the front, you can see the little glasses that the projector projects on, and they do come with a really cool looking cover that you can put at the front to have a completely blackout session or cover any sunlight that you don't want. Now the glasses themselves, they are very, very comfortable and very, very flexible. You are able to adjust the tilt, which is nice. And the ends are made from this material that is super, super flexible. And that way, at the end of the day, when you've used these, there's not marks on your head and it doesn't hurt. One really nice thing is the X-Real Air 2 comes with different size nose pads so if your nose is bigger or smaller you can switch them out easily that way your nose is comfortable when using the glasses now for audio there's four speakers two on each temple that are going to be right above your ear one is pointed down and one is pointed up give you the best sound experience for surround sound and honestly after using the sound quality is pretty decent note that you can still use your other airpods or headphones while you're using these glasses now on the right temple on the bottom of that there's actually three buttons and here's what they do the single button can quickly turn on or turn off the glasses that way if you to talk to somebody like real quick you can just press that and talk to somebody and behind that there's two buttons that allow you to control the brightness of the screen on the back of the left side temple that is where you connect the glasses via usb-c to the device that you want to use now let's talk about devices and how devices work with the x real 2 and what you need specifically for each device if you only get the x real 2 air glasses by themselves they can be used with any device that supports audio and video via usb-c for example you can use this directly with your ipad that has usb-c iphone 15 mac MacBook Pro, your Steam Deck, or your ROG Ally. Speaking of the ROG Ally, you can actually run up to 120 hertz of refresh rate directly from the ROG Ally because it supports it. Now, if you're wondering how I was using my PlayStation 5 directly with this device, this is where things change a little bit. Xreal also makes this device called Xreal Beam. It's an add-on accessory to expand the potential of the Xreal Air 2, which allow you to use AirPlay casting from any device that you can think of and from within apps. And for devices that can't do wireless screens, you can actually plug in a USB to HDMI cable directly into the X beam and use that device directly with the X real air 2. note though this device does limit the refresh rate to 72 Hertz so let's cover what the X real beam functionality is like looking straight ahead you get a ton of buttons on the X real device on the left side there's a button that controls the screen mode and you can toggle the screen mode between three modes smooth follow which is designed to minimize the image movement where you can move your head a little bit and the screen will eventually follow you so it's kind of smooth it's perfect for use in vehicles. The second display mode is body anchor where you can basically set the screen in one spot and just look back at it and it's the same spot wherever you're sitting. This mode is super cool if you're using this with a PC or a Mac. It basically allows you to introduce one or more monitors in your spatial environment that way you can look at them anywhere you want. For example, I put up here a YouTube video that I just was watching right above my screen. Obviously, you can't really see it, but I would look there every now and then to see what's happening on the YouTube video, which is super cool. And the last mode is side view which basically shrinks the display to a little display on the side kind of like play and play and picture on your phone when you're you know you know you watching youtube video and you make it small while you're doing other things that is basically what that is in the middle of the x beam there's four buttons for direction and one button for confirming action and the bottom button is a back button or a home button for a long press and at the top you get an led light that displays battery life and charging status on the top of the x beam is actually the power button and on the right of the x beam there's two buttons for adjusting the volume and on the bottom there's two usb slots and that's how you can actually get connect devices to the Xreal Air 2. The right side USB connects directly to the glasses via the USB cable that comes with the glasses and the left side USB can be used for two things. The first thing is you can just plug it directly to a power brick and have continuous power that way you don't have to worry about the battery of the XB. And the second mode is for connecting devices and to be able to connect devices that use HDMI as an output you need an HD 
HDMI to USB-C cable. You can buy one of these for like $10. And that is how I was able to use my PlayStation 5, for example, with my device. You obviously can use this with any device that you can think of that has an HDMI output. The only thing is your refresh rate is limited to 72 hertz because of the X beam. But you can use this with an Xbox, with a PC, with a Mac, with a Nintendo Switch, which you can see me using and I actually didn't even use the HDMI cable. I just plugged a USB-C directly to my Nintendo Switch to the device from the X beam to the glasses. And I was able to use my Nintendo Switch fully with barely any delays. I didn't notice any delays at all. And I just was playing Mario in this clip right here that you're watching, which is pretty incredible. X beam also has features like surround sound and the ability to adjust the screen size and the screen location so you can push it back further or closer if you don't like where it is. Anyway, I think if you're thinking about buying the X Real Air 2, in my opinion, for the price, these glasses are definitely worth it. And I came to that conclusion for two main reasons. Reason number one is the flexibility to put these in your pocket and just go anywhere without having to have a bulky VR or AR headset on your face. These are just normal looking sunglasses that you can take to your office and introduce a second screen to your life just right there and number two feature to price comparison for 399 plus the 140 dollars for the x beam you're paying 550 dollars but you're getting a device that can connect to any device you can think of you are not limited by the os of the device you are just you know casting using any device you already have around you and putting that on a screen right in front of your face for those two reasons i think the x real air 2 is actually really worth it and it's a very smart invention and no wonder why it's taking the ar glasses market by storm there's a lot of people using this right now now if i'm being honest i haven't used the x real air 1 so i can't really fully compare them to the air 2 but from my experience of using the x real air 2 i really like them i'm a big fan i'm definitely going to be using them when i'm coding to have another screen on hand thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you x real for sponsoring this video if you've enjoyed this content make sure to subscribe like this video and i will see you guys next time goodbye